So I'm Damien Caro, I'm an IT Pro Evangelist working for Microsoft Europe and uh, I'm covering all the Central and Eastern Europe. I'm at a Sweet Conference uh, specifically to talk about the private cloud. So I have three sessions. Uh, one is around building the private cloud, so how you start building the private cloud. The other one is about how you automate, how you supervise and monitor what is in your private cloud to ensure you meet your service level agreement, for example. And the final one will be how we do automation and how we deliver what we say a consistent service to the business unit in the enterprise. So the private cloud is really about having the cloud on your premises, on your infrastructure, your servers to be very con uh, concrete. So the private cloud is a trend we see now in the enterprises. The move to the private cloud has started a few years ago when we started with virtualization. When you start to do virtualize in your environment without good management, you create more problems than having a real standard server being deployed. So the management part when you go into private cloud is one of the elements, one of the challenges that the enterprise will face. And this is the main element I want to give to the attendees coming to my session is you have to have a good management solution in place in order to have a private cloud being deployed. The evolution to the public cloud is part of it. And we have the tools that allow that hybrid environment where you have the private cloud and the public cloud cooperate. So you can use resources from the, private, from the public cloud to extend your resources from the private cloud. Let's say you have to face a peak in activity and you urgently need more resources. Well, with our approach of the cloud computing, you'll be able to extend your private cloud resources with resources from the public cloud in no time. And you'll be able to manage them within one single interface, one single element to monitor and manage this environment. The main advice I would give to technical people that want to implement virtualization is don't just think about virtualization. Think about virtualization and management. And definitely your career will evolve when you go beyond simple virtualization. If you be able to automate your processes, your business processes, you'll be able to monitor your applications and make sure that you deliver what we call the service level agreement to the users that are consuming your resources within the IT. I mean, the jobs in the IT are evolving. We've seen those evolution uh, throughout the years. Uh, in the 50s, we had people changing light bulbs in the data centers. In the 70s, we had people changing hard drives in the data centers. We had even had people typing to print the reports to the businesses. Well, those jobs do not exist anymore. We have given the uh, autonomy to the business users. Well, the IT is still evolving, and now the IT is getting closer to the business. They're getting uh, a critical asset for the business to make sure that the IT deliver the right message or give the right elements to make strategical decisions. And that's where the IT is evolving. And the private cloud helps going in that direction, giving more value into the job of the IT for the business, for the company at the end of the day. So for technical and business decision makers, I would make sure to work with the IT to ensure that any new application is deployed or imagined or prepared to be ready for the private cloud, for the cloud in general. And private would be the first step, public would be the second step, or vice versa, depending on the needs. Uh, my single advice I would say is think about cloud whenever you start a new project now. Don't think about old ways. Think about the cloud as being one of the ability to deliver your application in the enterprise.